Hi, this is Scott, Kilo CR6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video we're back with another Operator Series video for the TID Radio TDH3. Uh, this is another setup issue that we're going to cover from the uh, from the front panel, and what we're going to talk about today is uh, adjusting the dual watch setting on your, your radio. Now, when I did the original uh, intro into the series, I talked about these two little circular arrows right here indicating that dual watch had been enabled. Now what dual watch means is uh, we're already familiar with the A and the B band and how we can navigate up and down using the green arrow to select the channel uh, that we want to look at details on or uh, in, in the case after this setting the actual channel that we want to operate from. Uh, of course we already know that the actual PTT operation is carried out by either the upper PTT um, actually handling the transmit uh, activity for the A band and the lower PTT handling the transmit activity for the B band. Now in normal operation and as the radio comes uh, from the factory by default it's set up for what is called dual watch. Now we currently have the A band uh, TCRC1 here is selected for activity at least in terms of seeing the frequency of the channel slot etc. Now if any traffic comes in on the B band with dual watch enabled you'll actually hear that so let me give you an example of that even though we have the A band selected by arrow when I transmit on channel 8 test 1 2 test 1 2 so we uh, we see that that activity is actually coming through on let me turn that volume into so test 1 2 test 1 2 there we go I had the volume too low but um, we we have the message traffic is coming through in channel 8 even though it's not selected so that is your dual watch. Now what you're not going to have because this is not a full duplex radio is you're not going to have both channels receiving message traffic simultaneously. What you will have is uh, if something comes in on channel 8 so let's say you you are listening pretty intently to the A band TCRC1 and some message activity comes in on channel 8. Just some people randomly talking about their, their latest doctor's appointment. Oh, I'm sorry, that's ham radio. Uh, GMRS it would probably be, well, in this case with channel 8, it would be two kids playing in the neighborhood. Um, so that comes in, and so long as that message traffic is coming through on channel 8, you're not going to hear anything um, on TCRC1. So there's times where you're going to want to control that activity. Dual watch is okay for most cases, but for me at least, I actually like to disable this. I like to actually uh, selectively determine which band I want to monitor, and I only want to monitor that band. Um, but the only time I find dual watch effective is when I want to monitor one band and then scan on another, so other stuff comes in. But that's usually when I'm not intently listening to the A band for some traffic coming in. I hope you get that. So there is a way to disable this. Um, so what we're going to do is go to the menu button, press that. We're going to navigate up to, uh, let's take a shortcut here, we're going to go up to item number nine which is D weight. Now that's a weird way of abbreviating dual watch but it is what it is. Now it's currently in its default factory setting of on so we're going to turn this off and we're going to hit that blue button again and you have two selections on or off. Hit the blue button again, hit the orange button to exit and you're good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and do exactly what I did before and I'm going to since we have the A band activated and you'll notice also the two little circular arrows have dropped out. That lets us know that dual watch has been turned off. So let me go ahead and transmit and see if anything comes through. Test one two, test one two, test one two, nothing. Now if I press the A B button, test one two, okay now I'm going to hear everything is coming through on the B line to the exclusion of the A line. Nothing will come through on the A line, and then when I switch back to the A line, nothing's going to come through on the B line. So if dual watch is something that you want to disable because it's uh, it's too distracting um, or or distracting in in the uh, in the moment that you're in, really easy to enable and disable that. When you want to turn it back on, just press the blue button. Item number nine, press the blue button again. Turn it on. Press the blue button. Press the orange button, and now we have our two circular arrows back, and dual watch is enabled once again. So with that, I'll bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.